Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take uh, prototyping a little bit further. We're going to look at the different kinds of animation, what easing is, and we'll make something kind of like this. Watch this, things push across rather than just dissolving. If I go back using my arrows, we're also going to create this monstrosity. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's kind of cool. It's kind of bad. All right, let me show you how to do these in Adobe XD. All right, to create that amazing animation, uh, we are going to just get a little bit deeper into prototyping. Now, uh, you'll notice this one's called level one of prototyping this video, because there is level two later in the course, because yeah, we can't throw the kitchen sink in there now. And we wanna get to a kind of a, I like to get you to a bit of proficiency early on in the course, and then we can dive in deeper on some of these things like prototyping later on. So let's do a little bit more now. First thing is, is that this is quite a small amount of upwards. Okay, but let's say that by now page is, you know, the actual, you might be 30 pages or 50 pages. Instead of trying to drag them and kind of like mm, get to all the different places, what you can do is you can just click on the button. Okay, and over here say, I would like, well, let's click on it and say, I would like the transition to go to the artboard called the very well-named page artboard. Oh, sorry, checkout. Okay, and it will go there. If you don't name your pages, and it's called artboard 1-2, 52 okay, which will happen. I'm naming mine here mainly because you're watching. Okay, but um, that makes it easy. If you do name them, you can actually pick them from the destination. So that's one thing. The other thing I want to explain in this one is that over here, um, the default is a transition of dissolve. Okay, let's change ours to slide left. Okay, and let's have a look at, we won't go through them all, but let's look at slide left versus push left, because they seem very similar. So I want the purchase button to go here, and I want it to, you notice it remembers the last thing you've done. Okay, so if you change anything and keep adding it, it's gonna keep going to slide left. Okay, so it's that's kind of good actually. If you get something you like, you can keep adding it, and it will remember the last thing you've kind of applied. So I'm gonna change mine to push left. Let's have a little look and see, because they seem like the same thing, right? So you play, let's have a look at, was it buy now? Slide left, look at that, kind of slid over the top. And purchase is a push left. The, the whole thing kind of, there's no overlapping, it just kind of pushes it left. So you decide what you want. Also double check that you're not designing something that can't be actually at least easily done by your developer. Because your developer might, if you sell it into your client, bounce, and that first one you saw at the beginning, and the developer's like, you can't do that. And the client is, uh, you know, heart set on it bouncing in, okay, you're gonna have problems. So. Talk to your developer, have a good dialogue early on about what you can and can't do. So let's leave that here, we'll leave it there. Okay, and let's look at the other thing called easing. So um, I'll let you play around with the other animations. It's not very exciting, okay? Dissolve or none, none just means it's gonna jump to it like a jump cut, okay? And you can play around with these different ones. Uh, let's look at the easing, okay? The easing is, because without easing, it is pretty like, it's rigid. Well, let's let's preview it. Okay, so it is. Watch this. By now, just kind of goes. There's no finesse to it. Easing is kind of slowing it down. At the at this case, slowing down the easing out means that when it gets close to the end, it's going to kind of slow down a little bit. Gives it kind of like a natural feel, even though it's digital. Um, we can exaggerate it. Okay, by going up to like, I don't know, let's go up to two seconds, which is too long, but it'll help understand easing a little bit better. Let's play this guy, let's buy now. Can you see it slows down as it gets close to the end? It's kind of like how real gravity works. <laughs> if <laughs> if gravity could slide it sideways. Anyway, um, so that's easing and you can mess around with what you feel looks nice. Okay, um, one thing you're forbidden from though is you can try it once in this course and then you're not allowed to use it anymore. Okay, is the bounce. <laughs> bounce is the worst one. Two second bounce is even worse. So let's go have a look. It is the barn doors, if you've done my Premiere Pro video editing course, or what's barn doors, another bad one transition, page peel, Ooh. Okay, this is the equivalent for Adobe XD. Ready? <laughs> it's cool for about three or four clicks of the button and then it gets tiring. Uh, I'm not judging, you can use bounce. Um, other ones in there, I'll let you go through them all, just, I'll do one more with you. Interesting ones. Ready? So that's got like, um, what do they call that? They call it, let me think, 
Okay, I thought about it. <laughs> I was thinking about it for ages. I had to Google animation rules. Anticipation. Okay, if you don't know the rules of animation, it is a handy thing to know as a designer, especially a UX designer. Um, go check out uh, Lucas Ridley's got a great course on the basics of animation. But anticipation is kind of like when you lean back on your heels um, before you move forward, you put your weight backwards to kind of go forwards. It's helping people anticipate what's about to happen because nobody just launches forward. Okay, you kind of, you know, put on your weight on your back foot before you kind of push yourself forward. So that's what's going on here. Um, let's have a look by now, wind up. Let's make it one more, one second, and then that's it ready. By now, kind of goes forward before it goes backwards or vice versa. Can you see that? Ooh, it's nice. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for this one, I think. Play around with the different animations, have a play around with the different types of easing and how long they take. Find a bit of a thing that you like and we will do more prototyping later in the course, some more hardcore stuff. But for the moment, I think we've got enough to continue on. So let's do that, let's continue on. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well, uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.